Hi crafters, Amy here, and today I'm going to be finishing up some Valentine cards. Now these panels I actually made in a previous video, and I will link that in the video description box below if you want to check that out. But I made all these panels when I was showcasing the January 2022 release at A Colorful Life Designs. It's chock full of some awesome stencils, great for Valentine's Day, and there's also some other just really beautiful stencils you can use year round. So be sure to check that out. I'm also going to use a few different stamp sets and some ink pads from Catherine Pooler. So I will link all the products that are available and that I used in the video description box below if you wanna expand and scroll down. But basically I'm just gonna go through and turn these panels that I made in the other video into finished cards in this video. So I did use my embossing powder tool from the Rabbit Hole Designs because I know that I want to emboss this big old sentiment that I'm stamping. I'm actually making this card for my husband for Valentine's Day and I'm stamping down in the same color that I used in the background but you can see obviously it's a little bit darker and it's nice and wet so I'm going to coat it with some clear embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. That's the icicle color. And I have my heat tool nice and hot and I'm just gonna melt that and that'll give it a little bit of extra something. You can see it has a little bit of shine and it's slightly raised, but it gives it a little bit more interest. And I have a simple strip from my die of simple strips from Tailored Expressions. I just had it laying around on my desk and I'm using these sub sentiments from the stamp set as well, just to kind of white heat emboss that on the black little strip just to give it um, a little something extra on the front of the card. So I'm stamping it with some clear Versamark embossing ink and stamping that down with some acrylic blocks right on that little strip and I'm going to kind of dunk it in some white embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. Now this is alabaster color and the same thing I'm just going to use my heat tool and cook that embossing powder and finish this little sentiment strip. And I will pick some other of the sentiments to kind of stamp on the inside of the card, but I do want to finish this panel off and give it a little bit of a finished edge. So these are my favorite um, stitched rectangle dies from Paper Rose, and it does bring it down a little bit smaller than A2 size. So I'm using some mint tape. This is a temporary low tack tape from scrapbook.com, and I'm going to take that off screen and run it through my embossing and my die cutting machine. And then stamp on the inside of this with some black pigment ink. Just loaded it up in my bigger Misty so I can open up the card and have enough room for it. You know, after I'm done dropping my ink pad all over the place because, you know, I'm a picture of grace. <laughs> so stamp that a couple times and then I decide I want to take this little cute heart from the other stamp set that I have out and just kind of continue the color from the front um, and bring that on the inside of the card. So if you ever want to kind of tie it in with the inside, then maybe use the same color or maybe just an outline stamp just to kind of stamp on the inside of the card and then it'll give it a little something extra and kind of tie it into the front of the card. So I'm just popping up that panel with some foam tape and using my eraser to kind of get the little um, fuzzy dye schmutz off the edge of this little this little uh, sentiment strip and I have some little thin foam strips that I get from Amazon. I'll also link those below but pop that up. So I'm not worried so much about dimension because obviously I don't have to ship it. Just have to, you know, hand it on over to the hubs on Valentine's Day. So I'm all about the dimension on this card. But for my other ones, because I know I'll probably be sending them out, then I'm going to keep those lower profile just to kind of save on shipping costs. Now I did want this to pop off a little bit more, so I took this Micron pen and I'm just kind of outlining the edges of, um, the right edges of the words just to kind of help it pop off. It gives it a little bit of a faux shadow look. So I went down all the letters and did that. Now this one, this is probably my favorite stencil from the release and my favorite panel. This lighting in my craft room is not good. This looks a little dull and muted, but it's actually so vibrant and pretty in real life. So if you stick around to the end, you'll see the photo um, showing how gorgeous the color is. And it's true Catherine Pooler rich, vibrant ink. It's just, those are gorgeous. If you, if you aren't familiar with them, definitely check them out. So same thing here, I'm just using some clear embossing ink and using some gilded embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. And again, I wanna finish off the edge. So nothing groundbreaking here. I'm just kind of, you know, working through using some sentiments on the outside, on the inside, 
pretty much between these three stamp sets, I'm able to cover all the bases and the type of cards that I want to send out. And I did use this red color thinking that I had used that on the ink blending on the front of the card, but it didn't really match. And I'm not sure what I was thinking there. So you'll see me in a moment. I do come back in and line that stamp up as best as I can and then come back in with like a purple ink that I know I used on the ink blending, that royal treatment, just to kind of make that a little bit more purple and make it match the front a little bit better because I didn't like the red. So it's not perfectly lined up, but it's good enough. And then I have some gold blingage here, which goes beautifully with this gold embossing. So I'm just putting down some liquid glue and attaching some of those. And I will show you all the finished cards at the end here. Now here I have some stitched heart dies from Catherine Pooler, and I have this happy heart, or no, happy love stencil is what I use to make this cute background. And, um, sorry, my dog is sleep chirping here. I need to wake him up here in the background. Yoshi, hey. <laughs> he chirps like a bird. I don't understand. Anyway, he's laying on the floor next to me as I'm recording this. So if you hear some chirping, no, I don't have a bird. It's my golden doodle Yoshi. He's an odd one. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to stamp one of these little cute sentiments from my favorite things and make it look like, you know, those little conversation heart candies. It says sending smooches. And I thought the background was a little lackluster, just plain white. So I took out this is another one of the new stencils. It's called Emblem Mask, I believe. And I have some residual gray ink left in my um, blending brush and I'm just kind of giving the background a little bit of interest so it's not just plain white just because it wasn't doing it for me guys. It needed something else. So once I remove this, I take a look and see if it's going to fit the bill. And it's still kind of a little blah. So I bring in some pink on my pink blending brush and actually add that to it as well. You'll see that in a moment, but just kind of looking around and seeing what my options are and trying to figure out what this needs, right? So add a little bit of the pink, kind of ties in with the pink on the hearts and it's still not, still missing something. Does this ever happen to you guys? Do you could kind of work through the process and think, uh, it's just not working. What does it need? What does it need? So I do some ink blending around the edges and uh, still, still not cutting it. So not sure what to do here. Um, decide to kind of ink along the edges of this heart again to make it pop a little bit, which it helps. So I'm, I'm really just winging it guys. I'm working through this process, trying to figure out what I want to do here and figuring out, uh Oh, how am I going to get it <laughs> in the corner there? So I get a little, um, blending. I don't even know what brand it is. Somebody gave it to me. It's like this little blending zig blending brush thing. So I kind of dip that in the ink pad and get in the little corner there to help that because I couldn't get the ink pad in without really, you know, <laughs> getting ink all over where I didn't want it. And then I decided to cut out um, some gray cardstock that kind of matched the gray of the background and add another little heart to it and another sentiment. And then that kind of tied it all together and made it a little bit more interesting. So again, I'm not really doing dimension here. I'm just using some adhesive to kind of tack it all down um, because I don't want it too high for shipping purposes. So attach that to a card base and then stamp one of these cute little sentiments on the inside of the card. Nothing, like I said, nothing groundbreaking here. We're just kind of working through and creating these fun little cards to send some galantine love to my friends. Now this one, this is a favorite panel of mine, but I decided to grunge it up a little bit. So I took this black soot um, distress ink mini pad and I'm really kind of messily putting around the edge of this other gray heart. I had cut that out for the last card, not really sure what size I wanted to use. So I kind of already had that on my desk, decided to use it for this card. I don't really have a plan when I work, guys. I just, I usually wing it and kind of just figure it out as I go. So. Um, I did that same kind of grungy edge along the panel and then picked a sentiment stamp on the inside of the gray heart. And then I decided it needs something else after I freehand stamp this. So again, just winging it, kind of looking through the stamps that I have on my desk and I decided I want to use that cute heart again. And then I have some gray hybrid ink here just to kind of, you know, stamp around on this heart 
and give it a little bit more interest. I'm truly just winging it. Do you guys have a plan when you make cards? Do you know what you're going to do? Do you draw little um, diagrams of what you're going to do or do you wing it like me? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious. I'm always curious what people's processes are. So stamp another sentiment on the inside. Now this one, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do. I could have probably cut this, because this is a half a sheet of cardstock. I probably could have cut it into two panels, but I kind of wanted the composition to be just so. So I used one of the stitched rectangle dies and then used some of the extra as to not waste it all, just to kind of give it some continuity on the inside of the card. And then this is just very, very simple stamping again using that same color that I used for the ink blending but you know when you stamp it it's always going to be a little bit more saturated and darker than when you're when you're ink blending so this one's very simple very low profile um, just stamp a sentiment on the front and in the inside um, but I really like the extra strip of the the ink blending or that I did on the inside so here's the finished cards here's the one for my husband with the embossing and the little popped up features so love you more each day babe with all my heart so i think he'll like it and i made it you know not all pinks and purples and not that he minds pinks and purples but hey i had that cool gold panel i thought he'd like it this one is probably my favorite i love that gold embossing it just stands out so pretty on that rich that rich color of the of the heart and I'll show a picture here in a moment. Um, like I said, a natural lighting so you can see the true colors of these these things. So this grungy one, my grungy galantine. Friends like you are hard to find. And then I love your beautiful heart. So that one's really cool too. I love that. That's called Love Strands. So be sure to check out the rest of this January release. release. Um, and I will, like I said, um, post the video where I use the I create these backgrounds as well as other backgrounds from the January release but there's tons of good stuff and don't forget my coupon if you shop and this one I love your beautiful heart I really like how this one turned out too it's very simple but very pretty I love the purple so let me know in the comments which one's your favorite do you guys send out valentine cards let me know that too um I don't think I usually do but I think I definitely will be this year. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much. Um, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.